Well, hello everyone. The Ontario Garden here, back with another feature highlight video from City Skylines 2. Now, the first video we saw, hopefully you guys saw, was talking about the road tools and how you use, well, how you draw roads now, which is going to be so awesome. The second one, which is probably my favorite of the two so far, is Traffic AI. How the traffic is going to work. They're not just going to pick the shortest distance and then sit there in traffic. No, they're going to evaluate the route that they take, if it's backed up, they'll make a new route. They'll basically have a built-in GPS inside of their vehicle, I guess, which is super awesome how that works, plus a lot of other things. But what we're going to talk about today is public transportation and cargo transportation. Here's the big old list that you guys can read if you go to their website. This is a very, very long list, as you can see. But what we're going to do is we're going to jump right into the video. Let's load this up over on YouTube. Pause this. Close that. Uh, we're, I'm recording it in 4K. I don't know how the resolution, like I'm watching the video in 4K with you guys. I'm not sure how the resolution will come across. Hopefully pretty well, but <clears throat> let's uh, get started here. And I'll pause it as we go. Transport networks set the rhythm of life in your city. As they move people and cargo, they can create harmony and discord. Now, you saw in that previous little clip there, the, the cargo ships. It'd be so awesome if there are different types of cargo ships, like the big Maersk cargo ships and the different, you know, smaller ones, barges that maybe move coal around. And I'm not sure if they're even going to be even going to be coal in this in this game or, or wood, like you know, industry type natural resources. I don't know. We haven't gotten there yet. But like, look at this monorail or train this system. Finely tuned orchestra of oh, ships. Oh, look at that. That's a beautiful looking cargo ship there. It looks like a cargo ship, a leaf with a little, with a little bit of a life, a lifeboat on the back, and look at look at the skyline in the distance. You have nice bridges. Now, one thing I will say is that all these video clips are all taken from the same map that someone you know within the game, or whatever, designed and, and built this map for us. So a lot of the clips, they're all a lot of things are the same. Just like back here where you have the the double suspension bridge, there's one of the one over here. These here, they're all part of the same map. So don't think it's all different maps. This is the same from the same footage, but they're showing different things, which is awesome. Vehicles, planes and trains is you. I love I'm going to be pausing it a lot. I love the train or excuse me, the planes. Look at the look at the airport. How like back here looks like there's all white lights and here's red because that's where the plane is and the plane's purple for some reason or pink or whatever it is. Maybe you can name the different airlines and it looks like there could be expansion bays here. I think it's a parking lot, but maybe this is this is the hangar. This is the actual airport. You could add on hangars or something. It'd be really, really cool to see how this progresses. To conduct, to create a thriving metropolis, maintain a steady... What a beautiful looking city, by the way. You can see at the bottom here where my mouse is, you have like cargo bays here. It looks like this is where cargo ships may come into dock. And then you have these like, you know, you don't, not all the buildings aren't different. Like these two are the same. There's other ones that look like this, but these almost look like specialty buildings. Cause it looks like it goes up and then it bows here and comes back. Like, oh, I can't wait to see these buildings. Some of them are, a lot of them have a lot of circular, circularness to them. If that's the right word for it. Cylinder shape. This looks like some kind of special science building over here is a, like a, what, like a football court or a soccer field. To keep your city in motion, you build a city from scratch in city skylines too. No public transport, no tracks, no runway. And that's the coolest part about this game is you always design it from the ground up. You design it with nothing and then you add and add and add. But one thing, look at, look at the gentle slope up of that highway, by the way. I think that looks amazing. Now let's get back to what she's saying. I love how like they, they cut back like this. It's so cool. Creating these and other transportation networks that ship in the is distance. a crucial first step. After that, improving and integrating them paves the way for expansion. When you establish your city, citizens can take the bus or a taxi to get where they're going. These are the first transport options you'll unlock. So that's interesting that you unlock taxis and you unlock buses. And which, if you think about it, most you know larger cities. They have, you know, when the cities were being built, they had always had taxi service first, and then you always had public buses. And that's like still, like taxis necessarily aren't public transit in the sense of like a bus. Usually with like a bus or a subway, you can pick, you can you can buy like a monthly pass. Taxis, you can't. But again, it's very easy to integrate. This looks like, what are we putting down here? This looks like it's going to be, I'm not sure, I think this is a bus station, but it looks like there's two different types here maybe. Um, you know, they have your different types of public transport here. And here you have cargo transport, which is kind of cool because this one here, 
looks like a barge and this looks like a train this might be like a semi truck and then you have a plane then same thing similar up here here you have taxi stands which can be so cool to put taxi stands in and it looks down the bottom left here is hinting at like a bus stop which i think we'll get into in a minute there oh look over here look i bet you could click on that bus because it's green so it's showing that this is a public bus bus station over here as well and also cool to hint at like these purple like like these purple um grid here i think those are your specialty buildings which might be down here you can see where your demand is here we're not going to get into that in this video but i'm just hinting at it there they're reliable <clears throat> cheap taxi depot and easy to route here there and everywhere traffic conditions i think this is one of the other coolest feature because down here in the bottom right so with taxis i don't you probably don't pick a taxi route you just place taxi stations um this looks here like a, maybe the bus lane both ways it's like a one-way bus lane something like that um and it shows like this this um orange thing here because remember your electricity and your water now flow underground based on your roads so it looks like this may carry just electricity maybe or something like that i'm not sure but the way the bus routes look it's so so cool the bus lines are numbered the streets are labeled which i mean it's so cool that you could literally like take toronto new york city or any your you know any town usa canada europe anywhere you you are you could you could literally redesign the whole entire town in city skylines name all the roads name all the bus stop you know i, I guarantee you can go in here and you can change the names of all this stuff i can almost guarantee you can do that this looks over here pretty cool i mean you have your your european theme this is the the eu flag or something and you have the american flag i think all that's going to do is change left hand drive right hand drive and then maybe the theme of how the stations or something looks here look here's a color you can pick blue the stations these stations are blue underground mode which i don't think they're in underground mode you're in like a mode where you just see this everything else is grayed out which i think is really really good it makes it really easy to to show you what you're actually going to be clicking on and it looks even cooler here because it looks like this bus route 10 line 10 is being picked up here this might be line 9 this might be line 11 it's cool there's different stops for different routes as well are there achilles heel it's no big deal in a new metropolis <clears throat> but it is for a growing city that's, that's right. when you'll level up your public transport oh look at that oh Think trains, i missed it trams and subways trains trams and subways so basically a subway is an underground train um, a train is usually a longer, bigger thing to go between larger areas. And then your tram or streetcar, depending on what part of the world you're in, is what we're looking at here. And that basically runs uh, down your, your main streets. Each one has pros and cons. Look at that. They're Look at the transitions, how the wheels turn. Like, it's not even a visual where the wheels are just straight. I'm just pointing out little things here. When this goes across, the wheels actually will turn to fit the curb, which I think is such a cool detail. Look at look at the power lines here. This, I think, might be for the, the tram network or the train, this train network. Is this electric train, maybe? Might be. But it shows, like, just look at the detail. It's so awesome. And once again, you see parking lot, one of my favorite things. All expensive to build and complicated. Expensive. Requiring Thanks. depots, tracks, yeah. and stops where passengers... Look at that giant hospital in the background, by the way. And you can see in the foreground here, it's all cargo trains, by the way. ...can buy tickets and get on and off. Buy tickets? That means they can't offer the far... Look at this. Is this the coolest thing or what? This is a bus route. Owner, bus depot, and, and destination, Hamilton Street, Bus Line 5. I guarantee you can rename all of this stuff. I, I'm not positive, but I can almost guarantee you can. But look at it. It basically shows you... Where the stops are, I mean, I don't think this is likely isn't a real just loop. Maybe it's just how it shows the stops. It shows you where the bus is, where it's going. And I'm not sure because some of these have darker circles. I'm not sure if that maybe designates there's more people at that stop. Because see here, these are lighter circles. I'm not sure what these might be. Um, these might be the, I don't know what these would be maybe. I'm not sure. For reaching service of a bus line or the door-to-door -door service of a I taxi. love the taxis, by the On way. The other hand, you could make it like, you know, Toronto, New York City, Chicago, and just like slam taxis everywhere. And you have tons of gridlock, by the way. I love this. Efficient. Looks so amazing. Not least because they carry more... Look at this. I know I'm cutting off that lady, but look at look at all this stuff. Here's your public transport menu, map legend, stations, depots, taxi stands, bus stops, train stops, train two train stops. Oh, tram stops, sorry. Subway, ship piers, airplane terminals, passenger transport passenger transport vehicles. What would that be? But look at this. Here's a purple line here. This looks like a tram. Your blue would be 
I guess a bus route maybe. Yeah, because you can see the bus route, bus stations, tram. I'm not sure. I guess these would be. It says. I mean, looking at the colors, this says airplane is that color, but this has to be the tram stops, bus station. I wonder what this is in the back here. Wow, it looks so awesome. Look over here is something green. Maybe this is subway over here. It's this is. A, I love this view by the way. You can see everything. Green down here. Green here. People in cargo and reduce road congestion. Look at this. Wow. Just the visual of this looks super cool. You know, here you have your, your tram. You, they have this in Toronto one, like, uh, I don't know, Front Street or Bloor Street or one of those streets where, like, you have your trams in the middle of the road here. And then look how it goes over to this. And it, you go between them. Look how it shows, like, seamless how it splits across. This actually might loop around. But the bus route here, green would be, I'm not sure what the green stands for. Maybe just, oh, it's just, it makes another route. But look over here. You have your tram vehicle mode or model. It has the length of how long the 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 loop is, I guess. Passenger stops. This probably fluctuates. Line usage here. Ticket. You can set ticket prices for each different line. So if you're downtown, you could probably charge a lot more money than if you're like out in the sticks. You know what I mean? Assigned vehicles four of twelve. I'm not sure if that's four four trams per line. I think so because there's only one car here. Schedule color. I'm sure guarantee you something down here is where you could click on this to change the the name of something. Oh, so cool. I love this. I love it. Love it. Love it. Let's start with subway. Look at that. They're fast, high capacity, and they take Let's just look at this real quickly. You can upgrade this. Can you make it into a meal like a meal car? I love the subways how they look. They actually look like a real subway station. You get in there, you go down your escalator, Efficiency, 118% efficiency. That's pretty good. Comfort, passengers, lines. Look at this. Lines, noise pollution because of where it probably goes underneath certain things. Oh, amazing. I love it. They got very little room when they're underground. Look at that. If they operate above ground, you can run them on elevated tracks so they don't get tangled up with oh, road traffic. Awesome. Trams. They're more flexible than trains, so you can more easily add lines to service new and expanded. Look at that. You have your buses with people on it in green, your taxi, which is yellow with this above it. And here's your tram line. Again, this is your look at the schedule. This looks like this is probably morning schedule, evening schedule. And this would be probably all day schedule, your different colors. Again, your ticket price. Wow, this is so cool. I love I love the views when you click on different views that everything else that's not pertaining to what like transport what what you like menu you're in is grayed out so there's so much less confusion and you can kind of see like hidden lines through things that even all the way over here i think that's going to be really help out visually setting up a lot of your different uh, public transit lines neighborhoods build tram tracks on existing roads or oh. run them on dedicated tracks if look that's at that. the best way to keep the hustle and bustle dialed up look at that trains carry loads of people too <laughs> and not just suburbanites they can bring visitors from outside your city in large numbers. That's amazing. Trains play another Look at the size of that train station. That looks like this is like the basic one. Here's a train, one-way train. This is maybe, a, I don't know, two-way train? Don't know. This looks like a parallel train. Train route probably. Or wait, there's two. One of these maybe is a cargo. Oh, that's so cool. And this is, I'm not sure what, what these are, maybe upgrades. Look at this. So awesome critical role as cargo transport oh cargo build a cargo train terminal look how big that is holy jeez where businesses can re okay does that not look super awesome because things are actually scaled the size they should be like look at the size of this. this is what it would look like in real life big cargo containers you have your big cranes to unload the the trains oh that's amazing receive ship and store incoming and outgoing goods and storing things too Water transportation oh, is another option look at that. for passenger travel and moving cargo. What a view. It's another high-capacity network, though water transport's real potential lies in imports and exports. Heck yeah, I can't wait to start you doing see, that. Cargo ships might be slower than trains. Look at that. But these bad boys can carry 1,000 tons of stuff a thousand from tons. your city. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. You can trade with other cities. So that is super cool. Now, I'm not sure if that means other cities that you build or if there's just some kind of, you know, AI, computer AI cities that you're, you know, imaginarily trading with. Um, you used to be able to do that in, in other games where, like, you buy water, export waste, buy electricity, stuff like that. I imagine this works the same way. But I wonder if the importing and exporting are, of goods are actually 
in-game goods. Not like you're exporting electricity on a cargo ship. You're, you're importing cars for a car dealer. Like, I wonder how exactly that's set up. That really, that really intrigues me, by the way. We'll need somewhere to house all the goods and resources coming and going. Oh, here we go. Easy. Look at that. Like cargo train terminals, oh. cargo harbors double as cargo storage That facilities. is awesome. I love this. I love it. Like all of the other networks, Man, that train. transportation that train. has drawbacks. Planes carry fewer passengers and less cargo than ships and trains. Uh -huh. Airports are also astronomically expensive <laughs> yeah. and have the footprint of a small town. That's awesome, though. However, air transport has a pretty irresistible advantage speed yep plus planes won't add to road congestion they don't follow a rigid track look at that origin destination well it looks like it's going to the same airport which that doesn't make any sense but look at the view though it's so cool and they make outside connections incredibly easy outside connections yes the transport mix in your city will become complex look at that intricate that's awesome use the transportation <clears throat> overview to review look at you can see where the planes are going and maybe some of the other type of cargo things oh, that's so awesome by the way look at this even way off in the distance everything's grayed out that doesn't pertain to what you're looking at wow look at the scale of this map amazing passenger and cargo transportation network separately look at that filter again by transport type to see high level details about huh. individual lines and toggle them on or off that's how you Use can name everything info view to understand the look at impact that. of your networks plan and manage transportation networks carefully to find the right tempo for the movement of people and cargo. that's an awesome looking airport conducted perfectly and every citizen trader and tourist will march your city toward greatness Look at that. So, just to recap, uh, we can we can get out of this screen here. We can go back to uh, here. So, this is super awesome because look at the, again. There's a lot to read here about the transport types, the trams. Like, I can't wait to start implementing. So look at the taxi stand, the taxi station. Like, this is stuff that's never been or hasn't really been in game. This type of game before. It's just super, super cool. I mean, some of these things, like <clears throat> maybe some of your cargo stations or your your airplanes are like, or, or like these type of terminals are way in the future or something because they're so expensive. But it sounds super awesome and a really a good way to start trading with other cities and bringing in other other goods and other people. Look at that. This must be your flights, right? Going to wherever it's going. I just love the visuals of this stuff. And again, when you're playing this game, you're not going to start out with all these things. You're going to start out with the bus stations and the taxi stands or the taxi station, I guess, just as the woman said in the beginning. And then you unlock certain things, which is good. Baby steps are always great, especially when you start a city. You're not going to slap a subway down unless you have, you know, a million people in it or something, right? Look at the rest of this. We, we covered, covered all these things. I love how I just like the visuals, the very, you know, in-depth visuals of, of whatever you're seeing on the screen it's all listed here in detail how many people are using it efficiency and then here we're, we're back to back to where we were so anyway guys i want to thank you so much for for joining me here the next update will be coming uh well after this one comes out i'm not sure when it'll be uploaded but it will be coming out soon that's going to be zoning and signature buildings and this is something that i think of those purple buildings that we had we kind of were hinted at the beginning of this video as well as in some of these ones here about laying out your zoning i think this is going to be super cool it's going to unlock a ton of what's well, going to open up uh, uh or i should say uh yeah unlock a lot of questions a lot give us a lot of answers to the questions that we have about the zoning in the signature building because remember there were some before that looked like there's commercial on the bottom residential on the top which is very very realistic that's real life any big city that you're in you're going to have like, like you know strip malls on the bottom little shops restaurants clothing stores you know shoe shiners and above that you're going to have huge high rises of residential i can't wait to get into that but i want to thank everybody for joining me if you enjoyed the video please consider leaving me a like as well as a comment what was your favorite part of this video i'm looking forward to like just the ui on how it works <laughs> more so than placing anything down all right guys if you're enjoying the videos on my channel hit the subscribe button tick the bell notification icon also head on over to the ontario outdoorsman link is in the description below leave me a subscribe there it would be much appreciated and i'll catch you guys in the next Feature highlight video of City Skylines 2. Take care now.